This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at this interesting research paper, Chat Doctor, a medical chat model fine-tuned on LAMA model using medical domain knowledge. Okay, so what have they done over here? Okay, so they have actually created a chat interface, right, for conversations on medical topics. Okay. So basically like a doctor it's a next generation AI doctor model it is based on llama model from meta i've covered llama in a previous video okay so what they have done over here is that they have actually taken the llama model okay and what they have done is that uh, they have actually uh, you know done instruction fine tuning on meta's llama model using the instruction data provided by stanford alpaca I have covered even Stanford Alpaca and then what they did was they fine-tuned that instruction fine-tuned model of Llama using Alpaca's data they fine-tuned that on their collected physician patient conversation data set okay so they created a data set with 5000 doctor patient conversations for fine-tuning the large language model which is the Stanford Alpaca data set instruction fine-tuned Llama Okay, so if they further fine tune that with this 5000 doctor patient conversations. So, how did they do that? So, what they did over here was, uh, you know, uh, they took this uh, database containing about 700 diseases with their relative symptoms, medical tests, and recommended medications. Okay, so they collected one database of 700 diseases with their relative symptoms medical tests and recommended medications then they inputted each message from the disease database separately as a prompt into chat gpt api to automatically generate instruction data so their prompt to chat gpt api contain gold standard of diseases corresponding symptoms and reference drugs so they say chat doctor is not only capable of achieving chat GPT conversation fluency, but also higher diagnostic accuracy compared to chat GPT. So in this way, they collected 5k doctor patient conversations and using that they created this data set called instructor doctor 5k and then then fine tuned your chat GPT, not, not chat GPT, basically the LAMA model using Stanford Alpaca data set and then that model on this particular instructor doctor 5k data set okay so that is how uh, they could you know this is a 7 billion model so that is how they created this doc chat doctor okay and what they say is that when they did a blind evaluation of chat doctor and chat gpt chat, jo uh, chat doctor achieved 91.25 percent accuracy compared to chat gpt's 87.5 percent in uh, recommending medications based on diseases okay some examples are shown over here so this is one example so where a person is asking this um, chat doctor hello doctor i feel i am suffering from acne do you have any good advice and then it gives this answer okay then what are causes do you have any recommendations so this is an example okay this is another example of a medical advice consultation uh, I have been experiencing some symptoms like this. Okay, it could be that you have suffered some trauma to head. We will need to run some tests. What medical tests? And it gives those tests. Okay, so given symptoms or a condition, it then can have a medical conversation basically. That's the idea over here. Okay, uh, they have given some further examples over here. You can check it out. Okay, so what is the whole point of developing this? The goal is that to provide patients with an intelligent and reliable healthcare companion that can answer their medical queries and provide them with personalized medical advice. So they have this GitHub page also, right, where they have this data and other things. They also provide you access to the weights. Basically, they have a form, right? You need to actually uh, fill in the form and then uh, they will get the, then you can get the model weights provided they provide you access to the model weights okay they also have a hugging face demo page but it doesn't work that's what i saw when i was trying to look at it 
yeah it doesn't work i think probably it's got something to do with llama weights or something not clear but yeah the hugging face spaces don't work this is an interesting idea okay many more such implementations will come now but then there are also some limitations of say these kind of models um, which is what they have explained over here it is for academic research only uh, commercial and clinical uses prohibited three factors it is based on llama so it has a non commercial license okay a model is not licensed for healthcare related purpose it is just for academic purposes to just you know develop such models and uh, to evaluate the language what you call uh, you know how certain models performs on medical domain and things like that all right but the idea is quite cool uh, and uh, yeah the examples over here sounds good if the demo is up and running uh, we could have tried some examples but no it's not running and um, yeah maybe i will request for the weights let's see if i can get access to the weights but otherwise this is the idea right patients can interact with chat doctor model through a chat interface asking questions about their health symptoms or medical conditions the model will then analyze the input and provide a response that is tailored to patient's unique situation as more patients interact the model is supposed to improve basically they'll get more training data as well and uh, you know the model should improve over time that is what they have said over here okay and uh, one more thing let's see in discussion and conclusion okay general language models may not perform well in medical domain yeah that is there okay and language models may generate incorrect harmful statements uh, so it will be vital to limit large language to generate only results that are very sure of and suppress the indefinite responses yes that needs to be done okay and model performance is highly correlated with high quality training data that is extremely scarce especially in the medical domain so these are some challenges over here right in spite of that they say the potential benefits are significant improving the accuracy and efficiency of medical diagnosis reducing the workload of medical professionals while increasing access to medical advice especially for most grassroots hospitals and patients in third world countries yeah but then the risk is really huge right if the medical advice is wrong or you know if it is misleading then it is huge so there is needs to be a lot of you know limiting of responses it should be very um, tested thoroughly okay so they say in the future uh, chat doctor could become a valuable assistant in promoting patient outcomes and medical advancing medical research okay so this was a short video on chat doctor uh i will be putting the link to this paper and github you can check it out i hope this video is useful to you if this video is useful please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video